Okay, here's the inside of the guts of my TiVo Tornado. This is using a new camera I got, so this will be cool. But anyway, here's your display board memory card holder. This is the solid state relay for controlling the AC heat bed. These are the cooling fans. Ooh. Oh, they are 24 volt DC fans. Good thing I saw that. I gotta make sure I replace them with 24 volt fans. Um, let's see here. These are your steppers. So your X, Y, Z, and Z. And then here's your connections for your fans and your equipment. And here, the important bit. I think I need to widen the stance of this a little bit. There we go. Um, what, what we need to do to chain, to check the steppers is, why is that tilting? There we go. Um, if you look in here, this is your power input. We need to get access to the ground. And then you'll have two plus one pad surrounding each of these little tiny pots. These control your reference voltage for your steppers. So you plug it in, turn it on. And um, can I show you the meter? Unlock. Thank you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Yes, you can. So if we pin this up in here, you will be able to see that. There we go. So, if I come in here and touch the negative and this pot here, you'll see I get 0.8 volts. Well, they said that they should be 0.95 volts, and I believe I need to turn counterclockwise if I read the instructions right. Here it goes, 0 0.84, 86, 87, 89. There we go, 0 0.950 volts. And now I'm going to do that to the next one. Get it on there, pin it in place, 792, screwdriver on the little pot. Do be careful you don't short anything on the board. Nine five one, close enough. Next one. 859 96 a little too high nine five zero on the dot and the final one this one will be a little trickier since it's next to another connection eight four seven. Oop. Nine five zero nine four nine nine five zero. Good enough. Now I have it set. We will turn it off, put it back together and try the print again. So I'll be back with an update later. And here we go. We are starting the print of the Marvin. We shall see how it comes out now that I've adjusted it. I do notice that the steppers are moving with a significant amount of authority now. They're, they actually move. So, um, they're like faster. The X moves faster when it was homing and the Z moves faster. So I guess that's affected by the voltage. But, I'm going to stop the video, come back in 20 minutes when the Marvin's done, and we shall see if I still have the salmon skin. Well, here's the Marvin. The Marvin actually looks pretty good. I don't have any real complaints, although I can still see the salmon skin. I thought it was slightly reduced, but I don't think so. I think the filament just changed it, but it's still got the salmon scaling. That's a different color filament that came out of the hot end. So I switched to the benching. It still has the, um, the diagonal lines. Now what's interesting is I 
took the opportunity to test this so when it got to about here meaning I started seeing some of the diagonals I tripled my jerk setting I changed it from 10 to 30 and it did not change whatsoever exactly the same lines it's interesting that the lines don't exist here but clearly we know it does do the sammy skin on both axes because the rocket the rocket here has it on all four ends so here 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 and here so it's clearly doing it on X and Y I'm wondering why it's not really present on although I just noticed there's a bit of banding it's a bit banding on that well isn't that interesting does the other one have the banding no not really so it may have just been an artifact of that print I don't see the same banding but um, I don't know so it's not voltage I set it to 0.95 volts and I'm still getting the diagonal lines identical to this one in exactly the same spot one thing I have not tried to do to see if it's a mechanical issue what I might do is move the benchy on the bed a little bit like that and see if the position of the banding changes if the position of the banding changes now see it's pretty consistent and the head feels good I don't feel any repetitive issue it feels good I would think I would feel something if it was an, a mechanical problem but this feels good I might have to try printing a large wall see what happens but tomorrow I will install the smoothers and see if that has any effect so if you guys are curious those are these things here up. Here we go. So I don't think these have a direction. There's no instructions and there's no arrows, nothing telling me you know one ends one end. But essentially, your, uh, you would unplug the stepper from your board, plug it into here, and then you would plug this into here, and then this into your board. So from your motherboard to the smoother to the stepper. So I will try that tomorrow. What I'll do is um, I might as well put two in, but I will install that, and we shall see what that does. I got these for 25 bucks for three of them. Um, I chose this one because it was three. So by ordering two, I have enough parts for three printers. Because you don't need it on Z. Z moves too slow for that to be an issue. You only need it on X and Y. And you don't need it on extruder either. So um, you need three for a delta because it has three motors that control your movement. With a Cartesian printer, you only have two motors controlling movement. Um, not counting Z. Uh, but on a Delta, all three motors control X and Y because it's a combination of the three that do it. So you can get away with um, just two on a Cartesian printer like the TiVo Tornado. Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll see if it works and go from there. I'm not pleased that I have to install an upgrade to get this result. I'm still hoping for um, a non-upgrade solution. It's not a problem. You can't feel it. Like I rub my finger along here. Well, I guess I can feel it. I can just barely. Yeah, I can kind of feel it. When I go this way, I can feel it. It's very, very minor. It's the kind of thing that only someone like me 
or someone similar to me would care about. Um, most people wouldn't give a crap. This this would be a spectacular set of prints from any normal printer, but um, I expect more. I, I, I want really, really clean. I, I got spoiled by my Ender Army. <laughs> my Enders make such clean prints. I mean, here, look at the difference. There's an Ender Benji. The difference is just night and day to me. The the Ender Benchy is so perfect. The layers line up. Look how absolutely smooth that wall is. You can't even see the layer lines unless you look at it at the right angle. Compare that with, you know, these. And it's not even a close comparison. These have little tiny bulges and little protrusion errors and this is just so perfect. So I'm striving to get my printers as close to this as possible. Plus, the CR-10 does do a better job than this. Not by much. I mean, the only difference so far between the CR-10 and this is that little bit of banding. If it wasn't for that banding, they'd be identical. Because um, they, they otherwise are. And we shall go from there. More tomorrow.